Hi friends, today let us discuss some topics, some basic points on illumination. So the illumination and light, these two words are interchangeably used in our daily life, but there is some difference in, in technical aspect. Let us see the difference. The difference is very simple, light is the cause and illumination is the effect. So because of the light, we are getting some illumination. And let us see with one of one example of nature. The example is very simple. The moon illuminates the earth by the light obtained from the sun. Okay. This is the difference between illumination and the light. Of course, we, we know pretty well the sun is the greatest source of light energy and let us see how exactly sun emits the radiation. The energy is radiated by the sun as electromagnetic waves of which 90% of having wavelengths from the range 0.2 to 0.4 micrometer. Let us see what are those things. Sunlight composition. How the sunlight will be divided into which components? Yeah. First, ultraviolet radiation, so which is uh, more energy compared to violet radiation. These are of 4% and the wavelength is less than 0.39 micrometer. And the second part is the visible light. Visible light, which we can see the light. It is having 46%. So the wavelength range is 0.39 micrometer to 0.78 micrometer and the third one is infrared light and this light is 46 percentage of the whole composition and it is greater than 0.78 micrometer so this is the sun's light composition so whatever the light energy we are getting from the sun is divided into these three parts next in coming to electromagnetic spectrum, let us see how the spectrum is divided. The spectrum is divided like this. There are two components. One is wavelength and the second one is frequency. So if the wavelength is maybe wavelength is 10 and up to 1, there is radio waves. So the frequency is up to 3 into 10 to the power of 8. And there are TV waves from wavelength 1 to 10 to the power of minus 2 meter and for frequency 3 into 10 to the power of 8 to 3 into 10 to the power of 10 and there are microwaves from 10 to the power of minus 2 to 10 to the power of minus 4 meter and the frequency 3 into 10 to the power of 10 per second to 3 into 10 to the power of 12 per second and the next one is infrared rays infrared radiation and it is from wavelength of 10 to the power of minus 4 to 10 to the power of minus 6 and the frequency of 3 into 10 to the power of 12 to 3 into 10 to the power of 14 and, and after infrared rays there is a visible light and that will be divided into these many colors and let us discuss about these things also after this after visible light so obviously visible light is from 700 nanometer to 400 nanometer and ultraviolet radiation this is from after this maybe 400 nanometer to 3 into 10 to the power of 16 frequency and the wavelength is up to 10 to the power of minus 8 similarly after this there is x-rays it is from 10 to the power of minus 8 to 10 to the power of minus 10 wavelength and the frequency is 3 into 10 to the power of 16 to 3 into 10 to the power of 18 and after this there are gamma rays which are from 10 to the power of minus 10 to 10 to the power of minus 12 wavelength and the frequency is 3 into 10 to the power of 18 to 3 into 10 to the power of 20 and after that there are cosmic rays and which are from 10 to the power of minus 12 to 10 to the power of minus 14 of wavelength and frequency is 3 into 10 to the power of 20 to 3 into 10 to the power of 22. So this is the electromagnetic spectrum. So the spectrum can be seen from wavelength and also from frequency side. 
yeah sensitivity of human eye human eye is very sensitive towards each color that means it can identify the color very frequently i mean uh, very accurately so that is called sensitivity the sensitivity of human eye is very huge at particular particular uh, what we call as particular wavelength so let us see which color we can see better than others this is the sensitivity map and the percentage of sensitivity has been given 100% for 550 nanometers so that come under yellowish green color so for other colors it is a very less sensitive that means our human eye can capture very less compared to this color and this is the whole story about illumination basics and there is one more topic artificial light how the artificial light can be generated the artificial light can be generated by taking a resistor R and if we allow some current to pass through the resistance then definitely there is a heat energy produced in the resistor if for example if we increase the temperature of the resistance then it will become a red hot condition that means it will become red color red hot condition then it will emit the infrared rays and if we further increase the temperature then it will come to white hot white hot condition then it will emit ultraviolet rays in this way we can get the light in between these two definitely we can get the visible light so in this way we can create artificial lighting with so this is the these are the basics of illumination engineering thank you for 1370 plus subscriptions if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and family members and colleagues and students and please if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do subscribe and please press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever i upload any video thank you thank you very much